here to, well, I think the, yeah. Here you can set up, you can either copy the, um, the attribute from the original annotation, so from the target annotation, I'll call it, or you can come up with your own new default. So you basically have a way to keep the same default or define your own default for your purposes. One thing to note here is that we're defining the default. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with annotations, but anytime you define your own annotation, if you leave this off here, if you don't have a default here, then you're requiring anyone who uses that annotation to specify a value for that attribute. But if you give it a default, then the developer can, can leave that off. So that's important to keep in mind. And we see here, uh, we're using this at session scoped on our own scoped service tests, and we're providing the proxy mode, so we're overriding the default, and we're saying we want to use um, to target the, the class for the proxy that's created. Instead of a dynamic proxy, it's going to use a CGLib based proxy for that. And if we had left this off, this proxy mode equals target class, then it would have picked up uh, the no scoped proxy mode, meaning that no proxy would be created. So here we have this optional attribute override. Going beyond that, here we have another example, slightly different. Um, public at interface transactional service, annotated with at service from Spring and at transactional, setting up a rollback for exceptions, so protect exceptions, not just runtime exceptions, which is the default. And here we're specifying read only. So if you look at the definition of uh, the source code of at transactional, you'll see that it has a public read only attribute, and that is set to uh, false by default. But here, we're not defining any default. So what we're saying here is that anytime anyone uses our transactional service annotation, they're gonna have to decide true or false for that flag. So here, this is actually required. So we saw on the previous slide how you can have uh, defaults defined and make them optional, and now we've seen how you can basically change the configuration for Spring. So by default, Spring has transactional um, set to, uh, read-only set to false. And we basically changed that behavior from Spring